This is kind of neat. I have cable managed this case um, a good dozen or two times before. This is actually a case with which I am intimately familiar. So um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the opportunity to work in it again. It's been quite some time. Now it does have toolless uh, bays here, but they are not exactly the world's most elegant system. This I won't need. So we're just gonna pry this up. So this is actually not the correct threading for this piece. So we're kind of creating our own threads as we go. Linus has to clean out his entire PC to get started, while Luke only has three parts to pop in to start overclocking. We're not sure what the outcome of this will be, but we do know it will be close. He just isn't cleaning his stuff because he didn't find an advantage rag like I did. Yeah, see, advantage rags are not real. So Linus is obviously in a stage of denial at the moment. If it wasn't real, how could I hold it in my hand? Having already used his advantage rag, the Linus can be seen here using a box or his underwear. Or we can try and jury-rig this. Uh, well, we can take this off without damaging it, without, without too much. I think we should go for it. I, I think that... Uh, I think that fiddle around for a little bit, do a little bit of research, see what this chip is capable of, see what this board is capable of, see what... See what I hear them there. whispering, as if that'll help. I mean, the shopping stage is done, Luke, so... Uh, you know, the fact that you have crap hardware, uh, no amount of keeping it secret is gonna keep it secret forever, and then I'll tease you. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot about that, I'm sorry. Oh, shoot, I hope this has the right mounting hardware. In the, oh, hold on. Okay, so these are a little, uh, these are a little worse for the wear right here. So you, there, here's a little trick. You just give them the old that. So here we can, oh, <sighs> that is some rookie stuff right there. I forgot this. I don't have time for his shenanigans at this point in the competition because winners do not consort with people who don't win as hard. I don't consort with them. Yeah, that's right. Ah, shoot. Got it in there once. Therefore, I can do it again. And that is why I have two children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only one around here with proof of his virility. <laughs> How do you know? Because your mother would kill you if you were any other way. <laughs> <Incomplete>. point. <laughs> No, no, he's right. My mom would kill me. You'd be dead. Yeah. You'd actually be dead. Yep. Mm -hmm. Did we bring out any zip ties? No, but there might be some in the screw bin. Well, that'll do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Right there. Fantastic. Oh, I'm feeling good today. Yeah, man. My mini wheats are like, I ate them, I crapped them out. I ate them again, I took a picture, put it on Instagram. Ew. This was a real score. Like, this was probably worth a good chunk of the budget right there. Coming along just nicely. Why don't you get the hell out of here? Spy! 
We don't hate you over here. We accept your kind. Yeah, losers are stuck hanging out with the other losers. <laughs> this is real good. This is trustworthy. That's the difference between this and snakes in the grass like Luke. <laughs> oh, I should have done this before I did the other thing. Oh, oh, I don't know if it's gonna reach. Are you missing my epic struggle over here? Never mind. Yes. Oh yeah, that cable management. All right. Um. All right, now we did specifically say that there would be demerit points for leaving the garage. And I don't need to leave the garage, but I do need to walk over here. So uh, I'm averting my eyes. Burkle will, uh, Burkle will hold this box. Or Taryn, is he still here? Okay, well, someone, someone will, Burkle will supervise me. Here, I got, see my blinders? Yeah. Okay, I got my blinders on. This box right here is called the fun box because there's a chair on top of it for some reason. All right, see this is something Luke wouldn't even think of needing. Probably because I wouldn't need it because I'm not terrible. Nice one of these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get the oh yeah moment. There we go. All right. So you got a system fired up over there? I hear keyboard strokes. No, not at all. Hmm. I didn't finish installing all my drivers like half an hour ago. Hmm. Oh, what's that sound? Is that a hard drive? Oh, interesting. Well, I I wouldn't know what a hard drive sounds like. I mean, I'm all solid state over here, man. There we go. Change to 340 with the magic hands. I think it'll boot fine now. Okay, uh, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What? Oh. Um, small problem. Okay. I mean, it's not a big problem, it's just a, a small one. Okay. Oh yes, oh yes, we got this. This is good. So, I don't think we have that, and we don't. Um, I wonder what we can get out of this baby. Wow, it's been a really long time. No, we're not gonna quite go for that. Go for about that. We're gonna go for about that. So instead of aiming for like ultimate, why don't we aim for like high? I think we should go ultimate. You want you want to go ultimate? Yeah. Well, that tells we me max possible settings in every game. That tells me a lot about the uh, the way you weighted your uh, <laughs> your system. I don't know how much it'll show on screen, but uh, don't we get my screen? Oh, okay. Oh. Wow, this takes a while to load. Okay. Hmm. Look what happened there. <laughs> I literally didn't even change anything. I'm gonna turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> I opened Afterburner and typed in a number, didn't press enter, and the screen went black. <laughs> oh. All right, hit those. Hit, yeah, I think there's nothing on the screen. Come on! What happened? You take your you take your attempt. I'll uh, I'll shut her down. It looks like I might need to dial back a thing. <laughs> Crap. 
crash number one has happened. <laughs> no, that's two crashes. <laughs> I wasn't benching yet. Oh, <laughs> you you, said, that, you said that like it was a <laughs> That's a horrible thing. Don't worry, mine didn't no, even start yet. No, my computer's better under load. It's like a rotary engine. I gotta get up to a certain RPM before right. my computer actually runs properly. Right. Right. I might be blaming you for this. Mm. What happened? I, I did nothing. Oh, whenever I open executables, the screen goes black. I was working on this last night and it was fun. I haven't touched it. Unless I came back here in the middle of the night, I've been supervised the entire time I've been here. All right. So this has an FPS counter on it. I guess we're going to see my score, so you yeah. might as well uh, check it out. That artifacting. Oh. Does that count against me? I don't know. I kind of. I don't know. I think that's just part of the benchmark. Frankly, I can't tell. Oh no, there's some. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I think I think we have to call this one off. Okay. All right. Seriously. And then. Uh, Seriously. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Load up 3D Mark here. <laughs> well, I think I know something about his system. I'm fairly sure that's a reference cooler. That is a sound I've heard before. It has a particular tonality to it. What? That doesn't seem right. It's not running in a full... No, that's fine. Alright, so... How was how yours here? That's looking higher. Can <laughs> we turn the fan speed down and try it again? <laughs> you still have to run actual games. Don't be too smug. <laughs> this is a graphics benchmark. I'm just happy I won one of them. <laughs> By like a lot. Mm -hmm. okay. By like two times? Was that? Is that mm -hmm. how that math works? Mm -hmm. I think that was about two times. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's a crash. Unless your FPS is uh, 1600? It's just 1900? No, 2200 and counting? It's getting its speed up. 2600 and counting? Up. It's ramping up. Do you, see, do you see this clear glitching? So I won't clear buy it 100 times? Glitch exploit? Wait, no, I'm trying to get it to 200 times your speed in a couple seconds here. Alright, why don't you go ahead and shut there that down and I'll take a run at this. <laughs> This is the physics test. Yeah, you didn't know there was a physics test, did you? I suck did, at? actually. Oh, all right. So 5866 is the mark to beat. Okay. The first successful run. That's still higher. It's not as higher. Okay. Still higher. That hard drive is horrible. I know. Like everything's kind of working properly. I, didn't it? Did it start walking though? I feel like it started walking. Because remember, yeah, it was counting FPS. Look at my signs. There's oh, there it is, but look at the signs. Oh, they're still they flickering. Yeah. Not nearly as much though. I I'm, think not, it's... I'm not saying a deduction point. All right, here we go. Physics test. <laughs> oh dear. So what were you getting here? 17 or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah! Oh, that is terrible. <laughs> Ooh, that looks pretty smooth. You know what? You're... Oh. The oh, the mountains start falling. You the get... really bad. You get owned. Wow. What did you get? 5866, I think. <laughs> What have you got? 5745. <laughs> All right. What the hell is this? Yeah, just run it, just run it, and then we'll and then I'll go online. I'll see if that helps. Fourth! That's appropriate. Wow. 
Average FPS 66.6, .6, minimum 46.96. That's a pretty respectable minimum. I don't know how bottlenecked you're going to be there. And smooth. I'm guessing 73. 73? You're going to get. You know, I'm going to guess minimum 58. Yeah, I'm not going to guess the average. Whoa! Oh, son. Son, you just got wrecked. Okay, so here's Luke's results. Min 39, average 63.3. Here's Linus's results. Min 56. Whoa, average 82.1. All right, oh, oh, wow. Ensure swift victory with Corsair's highly responsive, lightweight gaming mouse, the Sabre RGB. Click now to learn more. I originally thought you had a 7950, now I'm pretty sure you have a 7970, which means you spent about half of your budget on your graphics card, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I know for sure you have You're a- You're wrong. Really? 100% wrong. <laughs> I know for sure you have a dual core CPU, because, yeah, you because you got absolutely destroyed. You must have DDR2, and I think you've got four gigs of RAM. You, how did you get a 290? <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing that's gonna blow your mind though, I have a Q6600. Ah, I was right, oh what? Yeah, and that, that, that RAM and the dual core, I think was The dual core was a little was rough, a but problem. I didn't think you were gonna come out with a quad core. Yeah, I got a quad that's core. That's a lot. I got a quad that's core. That's cool. So really the big winner, the big winner would have been probably a combination of the two. They could get a 290, a Q6600, 8 gigs of RAM, a good quality power supply, an card, aluminum fronted case. If we took my card out of my system and put it in here, which is what that would have been, yeah. that would be a pretty sick machine for 380 bucks. And that's still cheaper than all the consoles we looked at, and yeah. you could still buy one or two games to equal the console price. I mean, I think for $300, if you can build a rig like this, then guys, like there is at the, you know, it's funny. And I guess we'll make this the conclusion for this. We get this a lot where people uh, criticize us for focusing really on the high end stuff and, uh, and the brands that make the most sense at the high end. And they ask us, well, why is that? There's such great value stuff out there on the low end. And the answer is that if either of us were gonna build a $500 machine, we'd do something like this. We would do this. We wouldn't be buying new. I would have so, done exactly what I did for the graphics card, try and find one that I can get which shouldn't be that cheap, and then I would have not rush purchased that setup because it came with a terrible motherboard. Because if you're smart and you're a good shopper, both of us were doing this at the same time with only 48 hours to turn around all of these deals. Not even, we realistically only had seven or eight hours to contact people and pick up things. And like go get them. Yeah. We ended up with machines that we could easily resell for more than what we paid. Yeah. And to match this performance, buying new from the store would cost at least 50% more or more. So there you go, guys. Used hardware, good value. This was fun. This was really fun. But you got wrecked. I did. You got I wrecked, did. son. That quad core, man. That quad core is pretty beast. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been the very first round of Scrapyard Wars. We have lots of great ideas coming for this series. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more. Let us know how you liked the format. It's a little different than anything else we've done. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, you remember how you voted for Luke? Well, you should feel bad for being wrong.